पड़े so today i am going to talk to you about overview of bacteriology overview of bacteriology classification uh the various infection they produce laboratory diagnosis treatment prophylaxis and prevention okay bacteriology so bacteria are classified depending on the shape into cocci bacilli vibrio Spirulum, spirochetes, and the higher branching bacteria, Actinomyces. So now, cocci are spherical shaped organisms. So they are divided into there are five important cocci which cause infection in loin. One is Staphylococci. Second is Streptococci. third one is pneumococci fourth one is meningococci fifth one is gonococci so as already i told you in the morning itself cephalococci is it's a grape like structure it's arranged in clusters streptococci is uh, in chain divides in single plane Pneumococca is lanceolate shaped, divided, uh, broadened facing each other. Two cocci enclosed in a single capsule. Meningococca is plano convex, and gonococca is predominantly intracellular, gram-negative. They are kidney shaped. Staphylococca causes uh, pus forming lesions, pyogenic infections. Wherever you see pus. especially it's post operative wound infection surgical site infection and toxigenic three you should remember toxic shock syndrome food poisoning and uh, superficial skin scalded syndrome streptococci also produces uh, pyogenic lesions plus two non uh, immunological lesions that is arf acute rheumatic fever acute Glomerulo nephritis. Pneumococci. It's called pneumococci. It causes pneumonia. Meningococci. Meningitis. Gonococci. STD. Called gonorrhea. STD called gonorrhea. STD called gonorrhea. Now, bacilli are rod-shaped organisms. they are classified depending on three criteria one is gram staining second is ability to form spore third one is uh, acid fastness they are classified depending on three criteria number one is uh, gram staining spore formation and the acid forming the acid acid fast organisms are m tuberculosis it causes tuberculosis in man mycobacterium tuberculosis earlier they thought to be it is a fungi was long slender slightly curved they thought it to be fungi then later classified into bacteria it's called mycobacterium tuberculosis causes tuberculosis then mycobacterium leprae which causes leprosy it infects the skin and the nerve it's called as mycobacterial neurodermatitis the spore forming uh, capacity spore formers are bacillus anthrax which forms in presence of oxygen which forms 
pores in presence of oxygen it's called as aerobic spore bearers so zoonotic disease disease of sheep sheep man get infected by the close proximity to the uh, sheep so skin contact can be on the skin of the hand it is called as malignant pustule on the back when the porters carry the animal dead bodies on the back it's called hyde porter's disease and uh, pneumonia it is called wool sorter disease or hemorrhagic enteritis and sometimes septicemia so bacillus anthracis next is clostridium species clostridium colos means they are spindle shaped colos means they are spindle shaped so they are uh, uh, classified into clostridium titani clostridium titani so clostridium titani causes muscular spasm titanus it would follow small trivial injury like uh, sharp edged or rusted nail or uh, shaving with the rusted blade then clostridium botulinum very powerful poison is used for biological warfare clostridium botulinum very severe food poisoning then clostridium welchi positive organism of gas gangrene septicum novi perfringens all these are organisms are known to cause the now coming to the gram negative bacteria gram positive bacteria gram positive bacilli last one is genus corny bacterium today morning only i told you it is called th it's thorn like it is corny that's why it is called as corny bacterium it causes this is called diphtheria it causes this is called diphtheria leathery membrane in the throat genus lactobacilli genus lactobacilli lactobacilli it's present in the milk that's why it is called as uh, It is called as uh, lactobacilli. Then genus Listeria. Genus Listeria. Listeria monocytogen, which causes meningitis. Listeria monocytogen, meningitis. Then genus <coughs> genus Cornibacterium causes diphtheria. uh lactobacilli causes dental caries sometimes it causes dental caries then you have genus erysiphelothrix <coughs> genus erysiphelothrix genus erysiphelothrix it causes skin exanthemata rhizopathy skin exanthemata it causes skin skin lesion it causes skin lesion And then we go to the gram negative bacilli gram negative bacilli they are mainly are they are present in the gut that's why they are called as enterobacteria So selective medium used is the Mekonkis medium. Mnemonic, you know, is plant. P for peptone, L for lactose, A for agar, N for neutral red, T for tropolet. They give LF colonies and NLF colonies. LFs are E. coli, lactose fermenting pink colonies. Klebsiella, non-lactose ferments, non-lactose fermenters are Salmonella.
Shigella. E. coli causes urinary tract infection, infantile diarrhea, and sometimes post-operative wound infection. Lepsiella causes pneumonia as well as post-operative wound infection, urinary tract infection. Salmonella typhi causes enteric fever. Typhi, paratypha A, B, C, Shigella dysentery, Shigella dysentery, fractionary, Sony body causes bacillary dysentery. Then Proteus, named after Greek god, Pleomorphic. Proteus, named after Greek god, <coughs> then Pseudomonas. E. coli and Klebsiella are lactose fermenters, pink colonies. These are not like Proteus and Pseudomonas. Pseudomonas. So, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 21. Okay. Now, this is the uh, gram negative bacilli. Then you have group called coco bacilli. You remember they are all gram negative and uh, neither cocci nor bacilli. You remember with mnemonic BB H by. What is the last number there? Huh? I sold so many things. No. Gram positive are 5. Went on writing the number. No. Not it. <laughs> no. no, no. BBHY, Bordetella, Bordetella, Brucella, Hemophilus, Yersinia. Bordetella pertussis causes whooping cough. Bordetella pertussis causes whooping cough. Brucella, zoonotic disease, causes brucellosis, underland fever, breakbone fever, Haemophilus influenza B, strain B, causes neonatal meningitis, Ersinia pestis, positive organism, looks like safety pin, causes plague, it causes plague, it causes plague, it causes plague. These are four, one, two, Three, four. Okay, now moving on to the next organism which is comma shape. This is cholera bacilli. This is cholera bacilli and it causes diarrhea, rice water stool. Next, spiral shaped organism with rigid board, motile with tuft of flagellate board and nophotrichus, spiralum minus. Causes rat bite fever, causes rat bite fever, it causes rat bite fever. Next, another is flexible, which is uh, flexible body. There are uh, motile with flexion and extension, that is, we have three Borrelia, Leptospira. Borrelia leptospira triponema. Borrelia recurrentis causes relapsing fever. Borrelia recurrentis causes relapsing fever. Leptospira ectromeresia causes Wheels disease. 
man get infected by the leptospira present in the urine of rats and bandicoots bad urine of bad tryponema pallidum sexually transmitted disease called syphilis syphilis sexually transmitted disease called syphilis sexually transmitted disease called syphilis another organism will study that is mycoplasma pneumoniae mycoplasma pneumonia it is a shapeless without pleomorphic shapeless without cell wall as the name says itself for suggest it causes pneumonia primary atypical pneumonia it causes primary atypical pneumonia now next moving on to the higher branching bacteria actinomycetes 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 so they can they follow the injury to the human body cervical abdominal and pelvic actinomyces so gurus to they are also involved in the formation of bacterial mycetoma along with we study the another organism called nocardia another organism called nocardia another organism called nocardia so there is a group of organisms which neither belong to virus nor belong to bacteria we study under bacteriology only some of the properties they are resembling rickets i mean bacteria or bacteria some of the some of them uh, resemble uh, viruses they are studied under rickettsia rickettsia and chlamydia they studied under rickettsia and chlamydia Rickettsia are flea-borne, or tick-borne, or louse-borne. Flea, uh, flea, louse, or tick-borne. They give rise to typhus fever. They give rise to typhus fever. Now, chlamydia are classified into trick agents. T for they cause trachoma. Infection in the eyes. Trachoma, inclusion conjunctivitis. And there is an organism, Chlamydia, trachomatis. which causes chlamydia trachomatis causes sexually transmitted disease there is one more organism cytokosis or ornithosis the organism is present in the bird droppings man get infected by the inhalation they give rise to pneumonia 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 now whenever you are asked to write the diagnosis bacteriological diagnosis of any bacterial diseases you should start with the specimen specimen should be collected from the site of lesion site of lesion wherever the pus is there or sputum in case of pneumonia pharyngitis you have to take fluid swab 
So it can be anything, diarrhea, it got to take stool. So specimen collection, what specimen to collect and how to collect. What specimen to collect and how to collect, they are important parts and parcel of the bacteriological diagnosis. They are the important part, part and parcel of the bacteriological diagnosis. Okay. Now, first, everything whenever you are attempting, first you have to write direct smear examination. Still, gram stain remains to be the one of the important techniques that is employed for identification of bacteria which causes disease. Gram stain remains to be the important <coughs> technique, staining technique that is employed in the isolation of bacteria. So, you remember this mnemonic for grams, VIAC and uh, CAM. These are the two exercises that are given in your final year NTR university practical examination. Remember with the mnemonic VIAC and CAM, VIAC and CAM, violet, iodine, alcohol, carbofuxin, concentrated carbofuxin, acid, ethylene, concentrated carbofuxin, acid and the gram stain, they have to prepare the smear. Whatever the specimen pass urine, sputum, whatever it is, you have to spread over the with the inoculating loop after sterilizing in your loop with red hot sterilization. Make a smear so thin that you can read the newspaper through it. That should be thin enough. So you fix the smear to the slide. On top, you have to write the patient IPOP number, number, and you write right gram stain here, whatever it is. And cover the smear with uh, gentian violet for 2 minutes, cover the smear with gentian violet for 2 minutes, then mordant gram siding for 1 minute, decolorize with alcohol or acetone till a faint color remains, acetone or alcohol till faint color remains and counter stain with dilute carbon fixing carbon fixin or saffron. So we will continue in the next tomorrow pathological diagnosis or to diagnose. Thank you.